So today's video is another video in the Hachette Disney Crochet Granny Square Blanket series. Today we are moving on to issue number 53, which is this square just down here. It's the Jungle Book Jungle Flower Square. So we need seven colours for this square. It's six colours for the square and then as always the white for the border. The colours you'll need today are the coral, sea green, the sage, sunflower, lime, vanilla and your white for your border. I've not got a lot of time to film this evening so I'm just going to go straight into it, go straight into the video, try to get as much done as quickly as I possibly can. Let's pick up our four millimetre hook and get straight into this square. It looks like we're starting off with the coral. So I've got my coral and like we normally would, we're starting off with a slip knot on our four millimetre hook and we are going to use the coral to make five chains. So I'm yarning around the back and pulling the loop straight through the loop that's on my hook. There's one, two, three, four and five. We then want to do a slip stitch into the first chain. So you can count back five V's, one, two, three, four and five. And we're going into this, which is our first one, pulling up a loop and pulling that through the loop that's already on our hook to complete our foundation ring. For round one, we want to chain two. So there's one and two. And we then want to do a treble into the centre of our ring. So we're going to yarn over, pull both sides of your ring apart to find the centre, go in through the middle, pull up a loop so you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. We then want to chain two, one and two. We're then going to treble two together and chain two a few different times. I'm not going to tell you exactly how many times you need to do it because obviously I can't give you the full pattern due to copyright but I will show you how to do a few and then you'll need to look under round one in your magazine to see how many times you need to do it. So for our treble two together we're yarning over, going in the centre, pulling up a loop so you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. We're then going to yarn over again, back in through your centre, pull up a loop so you've got four on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and then pull through all three loops. We're then chaining two and I'll repeat that with you. Yarn over into the centre, pull up a loop, you've got three on your hook, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, back in through the centre of your loop pull up a loop, you've got four stitches on your hook, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three, chain two, one and two. So we've done that twice, if you have a look at round one it will tell you exactly how many times you need to do it and then I will meet you to show you how to finish off the end of the round when you're done with those. I've gone all the way around I've done exactly the right amount of treble two togethers and then finished off with two chains. We need to finish off with a slip stitch into our first treble. So that V there is at the top of the first treble we did. You can see that one coming down and then you've got the V at the top. So I'm going in through that one, pulling up a loop and pulling that one through the loop that's on my hook. We're now going to change colours. We're going to be working with yarn B, which is the vanilla. We need to join it to any of our two chain spaces. So I've attached my vanilla yarn to one of my two chain spaces. We need to chain two, one and two. After our two chains, we need to do one treble into the same space that we've just done our chains into. So I'm yarning over and going into that space, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. After your treble, you want to chain two again, 
and then we will be trebling two together into that same space. So I'm just going to move those stitches across just to give me some more room and I'm yarning over into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over into your same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three. We're now moving on to working into the next space and in that space you want to do a treble two together, two chains, a treble two together. So yarn over into your next space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over into the same space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through three. Chain two, one and two and then treble two together into the same space. So pull through two, pull through two, pull through three. So we need to repeat what we've done in this space here in every stitch, stitch, in every stitch around. So it's treble two together, chain two, treble two together in each of the two chain spaces. When you get to the end of the round, I'll show you what you need to do from there. So I've gone all the way around and we need to finish off this round with a slip stitch again into our first treble. So ignore those stitches at the start because those are our chains and our first treble was this one here and you've got the V at the top. So we'll go in through, if I can, pull up a loop and pull it through the loop that's on your hook and we have finished with a vanilla yarn. We're going to be working in round three with yarn C, which is our sunflower, and we want to join it between any of the two treble two togethers. So I've just realised the last instruction can be a bit ambiguous because we've got two different versions of spaces. So we've got a two chain space, which I'll put my hook up through, which would be this one here which would be the space between the two treble two togethers. But then there's no chains in between those two treble two togethers. But there is still a gap in between, and that actually is where you will be joining our yarn. So don't join it in a two chain space. Join it in the gap that you've got here between the two treble two togethers. So I've joined my yarn to the space it says to in the magazine, but it doesn't say to do anything here. And it's really confusing. What I'm going to do is actually slip stitch into that space. So my yarn is secure and on there. What we need to do next is to do five trebles into the next two chain space. So that's the space here that we've got the largest space in between the last treble two together from the last round. So we're yarning over and into the space, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I've done one and we need to do five. So yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. I've done two three, four, and five. After our five trebles, we want to do a slip stitch into the next space between the treble two togethers. So in this space here, not your next two chain space, in the space here between these two stitches, we're gonna go in through and do a slip stitch. And then we're moving on and just repeating that going round with five trebles and then a slip stitch, five trebles and a slip stitch. So yarn over into your next, pull through two, pull through two, there's one treble, there's two, three, four, and five. And now I will slip stitch into my next space. And we need to do that going round. So it's five trebles, slip stitch into your next space. Go all the way around. I'll meet you at the end and show you what you need to do from there. So I've gone all the way around. I've just done five trebles into this space. 
and we've already got stitches coming out of the next space which is where we started with that slip stitch at the beginning we do still need to slip stitch into that space again and that's how we finish off the round so I'm just going to do that when it will go over the previous slip stitch that we did and that is round three complete for round four we're joining yarn D which is the lime to any space between any two treble twos together in round two just to give you a better insight as to what that means where we've done our slip stitches we want to go in through one of these gaps and join your lime yarn through one of these because we're going to be working over the slip stitches or the the bumps in the arches that we've done so we're going to go in through one of these or you could go in through this one so where you've got that almost that v shape there it's below it that you want to go in so i'll just show you how to do that So I've got my lime yarn here ready. Just pick a random one. So I've got, again, we've got those half circles. And where it gets to its lowest point, we want to go in through the hole underneath. So I'm going to go in through there and pull my yarn through. And I'm just going to tie that one so it's properly attached. And that's where I have attached the yarn for round four. So we're now starting with the Irish crochet. So once our yarn's on your hook, we're going to be chaining, but we're going to be chaining behind our work. So we need to chain four. So there's one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to slip stitch into the next space, same space as where we joined our yarn to. But we want to go behind our work like this. We're not going over the front. So go behind and then go, can you see where I'm going over? Pull a loop through, pull it through the one on your hook and make sure those chains stay behind your work. Chain four again, one, two, three and four. And then again, slip stitch into that next space, keeping those chains behind your work. So if you do that going all of the way around, I'll meet you at the end and show you how to finish that one off. I've gone all the way around. I've slip stitch into my last space. I've done my last four chains. And now you want to re-slip stitch into that first space that we started in. And that is the end of round four. So for round five, we are doing seven trebles into the four chain space behind our work. Your work should look like that at the back at the moment, which is a bit of a mess. But for our trebles, we're yarning over and we're going under the chain space that we've just created and then pull through two and pull through two again. And I've done one treble. There's two. three, four, five, six, and seven. We then want to do a slip stitch over the top of the ones that we did in the last round. So we're going in through that space and doing your slip stitch again and then repeating that so it's seven trebles into the next chain space one two three four five six and seven and then slip stitch in between those again 
So it will look something like this, where you've got a petal in front of a petal. If you want to keep going all the way around, I'll meet you at the end and show you how to finish that one off. I've done my last seven trebles into that chain space. We're finishing off with another slip stitch into the space between the two treble two togethers from round two. So I'm going in through and doing that slip stitch and that is round five finished. For round six, we're staying with the same colour and we're doing a similar round to round, just having a look at my list round four where we are doing chains again and then anchoring them and go, going behind doing the Irish crochet. So six chains, one, two, three, four, five and six, slip stitch into the same place again. So we're taking those behind as we did for the other round where we did similar and there's my slip stitch, but we're not doing six chains every time here. We now want to do four chains. One, two, three, and four. And then back in and do your slip stitch. Then it's six chains again. One, two, three, four, five, and six and do your slip stitch, chain four, one, two, three and four and slip stitch, chain six, one, two, three, four, five and six and slip stitch Chain four, one, two, three, and four, and slip stitch. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and slip stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, and four and then to finish this round off we are finishing off with a double crochet into our first space so i'm taking this is my space so i'm putting my yarn in through the chain space pulling up a loop yarning over and pulling through both that's the end of round six you can now fasten off your lime yarn we now want to join yarn e which is the sea green to any of our six chain spaces so don't go in through the one of the four chain spaces we want to join it to one of the six chain spaces i don't know about you but I absolutely love how this looks at the moment. I think it's so cool how it's 3D. I just think it looks really impressive. Moving on then, I've attached my sea green yarn to one of my six chain spaces and I'll put that one on my hook. So we are chaining four. One, two, three and four. And into that same space, we want to do a double treble and then two trebles. So yarn over twice, into that space and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and we've done our double treble. We then need to do two trebles. So yarn over, through your space, pull through two, pull through two, and then repeat that stitch again. And we're now moving on to the four chain space. Into the four chain space, we want to do six trebles. So yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. There's one, two, three, four, five and six. I'm at my next six chain space. Into that space you want to do 
two trebles, two double trebles, two chains, two double trebles, two trebles. Because we're creating a corner as we're making our square now. So let's break that down slowly. To begin with, we're doing two trebles. So pull through two, pull through two. There's one treble. And there's my next treble. Two treble, two double trebles. So yarn over twice. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And we're repeating that stitch again. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And then chain two. One and two. Two more double trebles. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and one more. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and then two trebles. There's one and two. So as you can see now, we're making our square shape. So the aim here in your four chain spaces, which is next, you're doing six trebles. In your six chain spaces, which are your corners, we're doing two trebles, two double trebles, two chains, two double trebles, two trebles, before moving on to the next six trebles in the next four chain space. If you have a look under round seven, it's got that all labelled out if you can't remember exactly what you're doing, but I'm going to go the rest of the way around and I'll meet you at the end and show you what you need to do from there. I've gone all the way around and it's looking like this. I've just done my last six trebles into the four chain space and we've got a few more stitches just to do in our last corner. So you need to do two trebles and two double trebles. So there's one treble and two trebles. Yarn over twice. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. There's one double treble. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. There's two double trebles. We then need to chain one. And we're joining with a double crochet into our fourth chain. So you've got your four chains here at the beginning. One, two, three, and four. I'm going in through the fourth chain, pulling up a loop yarning over and pulling through both. That's the end of round seven. We're staying with the sea green for round eight. So if you chain three, one, two, and three, we then want to do a treble into the corner space. So if you yarn over, pull apart to find your corner, in through your corner, pull through two and pull through two. We're now going to treble along. I'm not going to tell you exactly how many there are because of copyright, but if you look under round eight, it will tell you how many there should be. I'll do a few with you. So yarn over into your first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We've done one. Into your next stitch, there's two, three, four and five. If you continue trebling along I'll meet you at your first corner to show you what you need to do there. So at the corner we're doing two trebles, two chains and two trebles. I've already yarned over into the corner, pull through two and pull through two. There's one treble and two, chain two, one and two and two more trebles into the corner space. So remember, you're trebling along. Again, the magazine will tell you under round eight how many there should be. Your corners are two trebles, two chains, two trebles. I'll meet you at the end of the round. Final corner of round eight. And we're doing two trebles into the corner space. one and two. You then need to do two chains, one and two, and finish off with a slip stitch into your third chain from the beginning. 
You can now fasten off your sea green yarn. We're going to be working in round nine with our sage yarn, which you can join to any of your corner spaces. So this will be our last round before we add our border. We're chaining three, one, two, and three, and you want to do a treble into your corner space that you've attached your chains to. So pull through two and pull through two. We then want to do a treble into each of the next 18 stitches from the last round. So into your next, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, and one more, 18. Into the corners, we are doing two trebles, two chains, and two trebles. So there's one, and two, two chains and two more trebles. One and two. Continue along with your trebles. Your corners are two trebles, two chains, two trebles. I'll meet you at the end of the round. I'm at my final corner and in there we will be doing two trebles. One and two chain two, one and two, and then fasten off with a slip stitch into your third chain. And again, we need to fasten that one off. We're going to be working with our white for our border in the next round and join it to any of your corner spaces. So we're starting off our border by chaining two, one, and two. I guess I should say before I continue that my square is an average size so I'm going with the instructions that are in the magazine. If you have a particularly small square you can swap the half trebles we will be doing for trebles instead to make it larger. If you have a big square you can swap the half trebles that we will be doing for a double crochet stitch instead. So do exactly the same stitches or the same pattern that we're using but just swap the stitches but just swap the stitches out for um different stitches so we've done two chains and we then want to do a half treble into each of the next 10 trebles so i'm going into the first stitch yarning over and pulling all through all three i've done one there's two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Two half trebles into the next stitch, so yarn over, pull through all three, and another half treble into the same stitch. We then want to do a single half treble into each of the next 11 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. 
Into your corner you want to do one half treble, two chains, one half treble. There's one, two chains and one more half treble. So this is a pretty common Oh, I've got a hair there. This is a pretty common border pattern for us now. It's the one we do most times. 10 half trebles, two in the next, 11 half trebles. Your corners are one half treble, two chains, one half treble. I'll meet you at the end of the round. Final corner for the border. And we're doing one half treble into the corner space. Chain two, one and two and then fasten off with a slip stitch into the second chain so fasten that one off and we're done and here's our finished square this has got to be my favorite one that we've done for a long time it's the jungle book jungle flower square from issue 53 I think it's so pretty. I really love it. I love that it was really different in what we had to do to make this one. The only thing that I'm really not looking forward to having to do is to sort out all those ends, but we will deal with that later. For now, our square's finished. So remember to leave this video a like if you are using these videos to go alongside your subscription. Um, as I explain in each video, it just helps me to gauge how many people are still using these videos because if it does come to the point where only, you know, less than five people are liking the video, then that's the point where I think I would need to stop because it's silly me making the videos if nobody's using them. Leave a comment below if you need any help at all or if you just want to chat. And remember to hit the subscribe button if you wish to receive a notification for when the next video is posted. So I hope you have fun making this square and I also hope you have a wonderful week and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!